My name is Jason Richardson. I'm a professor of pharmaceutical sciences and the director of the new research focus area in neurodegeneration and aging at Northeast Ohio Medical University. I've been fortunate enough to be funded my entire career starting in my postdoc from the National Institutes of Health uh, for my research looking into uh, causes and pathogenic mechanisms in Parkinson's disease Alzheimer's disease, and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Uh, as it will come to no surprise to you, these are devastating diseases and disorders that affect millions of Americans. There is a huge cost, uh, not only in the health of the individual, but to the country as a whole uh, and to families as a whole because of these diseases and disorders. Unfortunately, with the limitations of research funding right now, less than 10 out of 100 uh, research grants get funded. That means some of the best and the brightest scientists that are bringing new ideas to treating these devastating diseases are not um, able to conduct their research. Another aspect that I think really gets looked over is not only are the individual research projects restricted, uh, but we're also losing that next generation of the best and brightest scientists. We're losing students. Students aren't going into the sciences. They aren't going into engineering. Uh, we're losing them to other countries. And this is going to have a ripple effect uh, on our economy for years to come. Currently, we're hanging on by a thread in leading the world in science and technology. If something's not done, we are going to lose this in the next 10 to 20 years, and it's probably not going to be something that's recoverable. So I say that to, to you to try and uh, help you understand how that the science is not just for what the most important part is, which is trying to help people with disease and improve their daily life, but it's a much bigger issue uh, that relates to the health of the country, both from an economical uh, aspect, uh, but also as an intellectual aspect. If we're really going to continue to be leaders of the free world, we have to have your support to be able to do the best science out there.